All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all glory, and all honors unto you. How about Shemi? I was shy about Shemi. God Kadash. Double honors to the, to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hope of the lick. This is another edition of Genius News and Prophecy. And um, uh -uh. what I have here is an article here from uh, Rolling Stone. Uh, this is uh, dated uh, March 21st, 2020, the year of prophecy. And it says uh, DOJ wants to suspend certain constitutional rights during coronavirus emergency. Uh, the, de the Department of Justice has secretly asked Congress for the ability to detain arrested people indefinitely, in addition to other powers that one expert called terrifying. So basically, they want to suspend the Constitution. All right. Uh, and the reason why they want to suspend the Constitution is because the elites of this society, all right, the, the rulers of Esau, all right, who the world calls the Illuminati, they are ready to basically bring in their New World Order plan, all right? They are ready to bring in this so-called New World Order, uh, New Age Satanic plan on uh, America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, you know? And we've been saying this for years here at GMS that uh, uh, this devil's going to show his horns, okay? And right now, they, you know, they have to go through certain legislation, go through certain, you know, uh, uh, hierarchies, you know, for them to even, uh, right now, you have the different governors around America locking down each state, having people stay at home because of this coronavirus. Um, so now, uh, within the administration of uh, Trump, all right. Uh, they want to suspend your constitutional rights. OK, see, this man is, is, is he, you know, we've been telling you and that, you know, and this just goes in general for you so-called black Spanish and Native Americans out there. We Israelites, we've been telling you that this man is the devil. All right. Devil meaning deceiver. OK, Diablo, El Diablo. All right. He's a he's the the. Deceiver in the earth, all right, the physical counterpart of Satan and his mind and his spirit. This is what he wants to do, okay. He wants to arrest you, he wants to lock you up, he wants to put you in a prison. Um, and he wants total control of your lives because he thinks that he's the heavenly father, he wants to be like the most high, okay. So, let me get a, a, a scripture, all right, and go to uh. Matter of fact, first, let me get the Apocrypha. Okay. So what he wants to do is he's about to come down with great wrath upon the people. All right. So this is the book of Revelation, chapter 12. All right. So this is Revelation, chapter 12. And I'm going to go down to verse 12. Okay. It says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And who and who inhabits the earth? All the different races and nations and ethnic groups in the earth. All right. You know, the different creatures as well. It says, and of the sea for the devil is come down unto you. Who's the devil? The so-called white race. All right. They are the devils that the Bible speak of. Okay. It says, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. And great wrath is what? Suspending the Constitution, taking away your, your so-called civil liberties, all right? Locking you in your homes. You can't move unless they say move. Basically putting you into prison, okay? It says, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And the reason why he knows that he has a short time to, to try to get this agenda or his enterprise, uh, um, uh, manifested in the earth is because the heavenly father is going to send back his son, a so-called black man, Yahweh Shai, not Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus is not coming back. Jesus doesn't ex exist. Okay. The Jesus that this devil has taught you in these churches around the world, whether it be Catholic or Protestant. All right. He doesn't exist. That's a demon. That is the devil. All right. That's just another face. Of uh, Satan, another uh, adversary to the truth, okay? But there is a man coming back, and his name is Yahweh Shai, all right? 
a so-called black man of the tribe of Judah, a Hebrew Israelite, and he's coming back to save the Hebrew Israelites, which are you so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. And he's coming back to destroy the kingdom of uh, of this devil, all right, the so-called white man. He's coming back to take his kingdom down so he can rule. That's what these these uh, 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 scriptures are about, the Israelites getting back their kingdom, okay? Um, so now... Uh, let me go back to the article. Let me read this. Okay. So now it says here, it says, The Trump Department of Justice has asked Congress to craft legislation allowing chief judges to indefinitely hold people without trial and suspend other constitutionally protected rights during coronavirus and other emergencies, according to a report by uh, Politico's Betsy Woodruff Swan. Okay. Uh, I got so I, I gotta get uh the next scripture, okay? Because these things are are um happening in the earth, okay? All right, let me see. I know where it's at, but it's better if I write it here. If I type it here, yep. So this is the book of Isaiah, chapter ten, uh, verse one. Uh, one and two, it says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Okay? And this this is an unrighteous decree to take away your rights because a lot of these rights are just, you know, rights that are given by the Heavenly Father. So it's an unrighteous decree to tell you that you can't do this, you can't do that. Okay? So-called God-given rights, and then you have the rights that are given to you by the so-called American Constitution. All right? So they want to to uh, uh, take that away. It says, and that right grievousness is grieve is going to grieve the people uh, uh, if they are to enact this uh, suspension of uh, uh, your constitutional rights. It says, and that right grievousness, which they have prescribed, prescribed meaning written before they they already have these things written before in place. And they just need the right crisis to uh, enact it. And that's what they want to do, with, you know, during this coronavirus situation. And, and they've already had other previous legis legislation that they've um, um, pre-written and they're activating it now. You know, uh, such as uh, enacting uh, things like the Stafford Act, uh, Trump saying he's a wartime president, all that all that is a part of legislation, okay? Uh, activating FEMA. They've been wanting to do these things. They've been wanting to come down upon the people, and now this devil wants to come down. It says, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. Who And, and who's the Lord's people? The Israelites. It says that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. So they are, are, are into writing these decrees and taking away... Uh, your rights here in America, okay? It says, uh, it says, while they ask for the Department of Justice will likely not come to fruition with the democratically controlled House of Representatives, representatives they demonstrate how much this White House has a frightening disregard for rights enumerated in the Constitution. And years ago, uh, George Bush Jr., George W. Bush, had basically said the Constitution is a, uh, you know, it's just a piece of paper. You know, Apostle Hart, I mentioned that in this recent video. Okay? It's just a piece of paper. You know? If you rip up the piece of paper, then it's no longer binding. You know? Or you can say the Constitution doesn't even exist. If you can't find the physical, if they, if they were to destroy it, you know? So it doesn't really matter in our reality. It's not bonded by anything. So it says the DOJ has requested Congress allow any chief judge of a district court to pause court proceedings whenever the district court is fully or partially closed by virtue of any natural disaster, civil disobedience, or other emergency situation, according to draft language obtained by Politico. This would be applicable applicable to any statutes or rules of procedure otherwise affecting pre-arrest, post-arrest, 
pre-trial, trial, and post-trial procedures in criminal and juvenile proceedings and all civil processes and proceedings. They justify this by saying currently judges can pause judicial proceedings in an emergency, but that new legislation would allow them to apply it in a consistent manner. So this is them being in control. Okay? Uh, and this is all a part... All of, all of this is prophecy. All of this is, is part of uh, uh, the prophecies in the scriptures that the Lord said was going to take place once these devils get into power. Okay? So now let me go to the book of... Uh, back to the book of Revelation. Revelation. All right, chapter, chapter 3 and verse 10, okay? Uh, so like a chapter, uh, let's see here. Okay, 2 and 10. All right. So this is Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10. It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. So although we're hearing these things and we're seeing this, you know, these articles and what Esau plans to do, we are to fear what is going to cause, you know, the world out here to suffer. And these are the words in red. These are the words of Yahweh Shai, man. It says, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, okay, that ye may be tried. So if any brother actually gets into a situation, uh... Is uh this a coronavirus emergency pandemic? Is it causes more and more of these um these uh lockdowns and things to take place? If you cut if you're cast into prison, this is just a trial for you. Okay, it's it's just a trial of your faith. It says, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. So not too long of a time are you to go through this trouble. If you are put in this situation, it says, Be thou faithful unto death. All right, so we ought to be faithful, even if we have to die for this word, die, believing in your how about you, I was shy, but then so be it, okay? But, you know, the Lord also said that he was going to defend us, okay? But it says, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life, okay? The Lord's going to give you a crown of life in these times, all right? Because we believed in him, and we didn't take heed to what this devil said, it says, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. And the second death is talking about the thermonuclear destruction that's going to take place uh, 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 during the war of Armageddon or World War Three. OK. So we're not to fear these things that are to happen, even though this devil is coming down upon the people. OK. Um, matter of fact. I'm going to go back to the book of Isaiah, right? So this is the book of Isaiah. I'm going to go to the 59th chapter. All right. Isaiah chapter 59. Yep. Isaiah chapter 59. Verse 19. It says, so shall they, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the West and who are, who is to fear the name of the, who's going to fear the name of the Lord of the, of, from the West. So who is fearing the name of the Lord, the name of Yahweh Bashmi, I was shot from the Western hemisphere here in North America, the Israelites. Okay. It says in his glory from the rising of the sun. And this is how you know that we have the name. We know that the true name of the heavenly father is not God, but Yahweh. All right. Not Jehovah, not Yahweh, but Yahweh. Okay. Yahweh. We know that his son's name is not Jesus or Yeshua, but Yahweh Shai. All right. Yahweh means he exists. Okay. Yah meaning he in Hebrew and uh, Hawa meaning to exist. So he exists. And uh, Yahweh Shai, Yah, again, the prefix meaning he in the Hebrew and Hawah Shai meaning to deliver. He, he will deliver. Okay. He is the deliverer. So the Heavenly Father is going to send the deliverer back. And that's what we believe in. And we fear that name. We don't fear Esau. Okay? We don't fear what man can do unto us. 
It says, and his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood. So when he's tried to bring down his wrath, bring in his soldiers, declare martial law. And that's what they're saying now. They're basically saying they're going to lock down the whole country. Uh, it could be a few days from now, maybe a week. But that's just what's going around. We'll see what happens. All right. But when they want to, you know, when they do want to send these so-called stormtroopers in, all right, like a flood. It says, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, shall lift up a standard against him. And what's that standard? That standard in the Hebrew is a way to escape. So the Lord is going to make, give his, his, uh, his servants power to escape and defeat our enemy. Okay? Uh, it says, and the, and the Redeemer shall come to Zion. That's also another name for Yahweh Shai, the Redeemer. And unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. So the elect, the chosen one of the Israelites are going to be saved and some of them are going to get power. All right. And when the enemy comes in like a flood. So as Esau starts to enact more and more of his uh, legislation, his, his unrighteous decrees, then that's really giving more and more power to the elect out here. OK. Um. And there's more and more things that they want to do. There's countless numbers of vi there's countless videos out there showing uh, uh, tanks and things being transported across the uh, across America by train, and the, you know, and these are the things that we've been talking about, okay? Prophesying about out there in the streets, you know, it could be, you know, uh, a certain brothers already because of the different state lockdowns, they haven't been able to go out to the streets to teach. So this could be a trend across America to where, um, you know, the different GMS camps can't go out and prophesy. And that's leading to the famine of the word. Okay. You know, at times, I mean, times are changing. America's changing. Uh, you know, but we told you that, that this was going to happen, you know, but for those that have listened, Lord willing, the Heavenly Father is, well, you know what I say, if you're listening, if you're the elect, the Lord's going to be with you, like I just read. Yahweh Bashmiyah was shy, is going to be with those that turn from transgression in Jacob, like I read, okay? And uh, there's more scriptures I could bring out. I was thinking of uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 16, uh, verse 70 on down, uh, of the wrath of a the great wrath of a multitude is kindled. Over you, so it feeds you being idle with things offered on the idols is going to start to bring this microchip, make it mandatory. That's the mark of the beast. And the Heavenly Father says, if we don't take it, then he's going to deliver us, you know. But if you do take that microchip implant, he's going to destroy you. So things are coming down the pipe now, uh, harder than ever, uh, quickly. You know, this thing is happening quick, man. 2020, the year of prophecy came in quick, you know. All kinds of things is, is 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 happening in the earth now. You know, we had signs in the heavens. We had eclipses and solar eclipses and blood moons and moon eclipses, you know, for the past few years now, you know. Uh, and there's more signs of things to come. But this is what we told you about, okay? Um, but with that, you know, I'm going to end it there. I want to give all praises, all glory, and all honors unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham and Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shout out to the elect.